Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to be showing you another Magix Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a clip become slow motion. How to increase and decrease the size of it to speed it up or slow it down, whichever your project needs. Now there are two ways of doing this, and I'm going to show you how to do both. First one, if you drag your clip into here, you'll see it in the timeline. Now there's one thing I want to let you know before we do this is it's better to have source footage with a higher frame rate like 60 frames per second or above because that'll make it look the best. If you have a footage that's about 23 frames or anything lower than that, then you're going to see a lot of motion blur and it may not look exactly like you want. So I'm going to be using some footage I have of this game that's 60 frames a second and show you what I mean. So here's the clip itself. And I want to slow it down right before both these characters die and you see a lot of effects and explosions. So first thing I could do is start playing it and stop it right before they blow up. So I'm going to clip it right about here. Now I'm going to play it. And I want the slow motion to end right about there. So we drag this clip out here. And with this one, we stick it here you can kind of eyeball it the first way and if you hold the control key on your keyboard that'll allow you to time stretch the clip so we're gonna click the edge of the clip and drag it and if we do it right about here right about this looks pretty good to me so then we can play it and it's slower that's no problem but the thing is when you drag a clip out like that the audio gets all distorted and robotic, but to fix that, if you right click on the audio track of the slowed down clip, you can hit properties, click lock to stretch, hit OK, and that'll deepen and correct the audio. Now you can also do the reverse and hold control and drag a clip inward, and that'll speed it up. And you'd want to do the same right click, properties, lock to stretch, and then the audio is correct. And that's the first way of implementing slow motion and speeding up clips. Okay, so the second way of doing it is doing it with velocity. If you right click on the clip you want to slow down, if you go under insert remove envelopes you'll see velocity. If you click that, it'll bring this green bar here. Now if you can't really see that, if you hold control and shift and press up on the keyboard, that'll increase the size of your tracks to make it easier to navigate and to work with this. So I'm going to drag this up. So basically this green bar means that that part of the clip is playing at 100% speed. So if you double click on the green bar, it'll add a keyframe and then you could adjust everything after that keyframe of what speed you want it to be. Now you can manually pull this up and down, it'll tell you how fast you're going. Or if you wanted, create another keyframe, right click it and tell it how much slower or faster you want it to become. So I'm going to back up. So I want it to slow down right from this point to this point, I want the transition of slowness to go down. So I'm going to right click on this keyframe and I want it to go down to 20% forward velocity. Boom. Now the thing with velocity is that when you change the speed of a clip, it's going to kind of mess up the ending of where you trimmed your clip. So I slowed it down right here and so technically the end of this clip that I wanted is going to be somewhere over here. So you just got to extend your clip and you'll see that it's right about there. So right after it blows up there, then here I'm going to double click the keyframe and then I'm going to drag more from that point to this point roughly that's when I want it to speed back up to normal speed. So I right click on this keyframe, go to normal speed, and now we can see where it's at. And so you see it slowed down to the speed I wanted, and then it speeds back up. Now the only thing with velocity is that audio doesn't go with it. There's no way to make audio velocity sync with the video's velocity. It can kind of be a pain, so I'm not going to do it right now. I have another tutorial I'll link to it after this video to show you a really in-depth velocity tutorial. But for right now, we're just going to go with the video. Now that transition seemed kind of quick, so what we can do if you wanted is left click and drag this out way over here and you can see the time just kind of turns slower progressively. And 
And there you have it. That is two ways to do slow motion in Vegas Pro 16. If this video helped you out at all, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.